So the first time that I ever heard or saw a Tibetan bowl was over 15 years ago when I spent one month in a Buddhist meditation center in the mountains of Colorado. And I remember hearing it for the first time at a gathering where our teacher, our Bodhisattva, was really setting the stage by striking the Tibetan bowl to help us to start connecting to our spirit in our meditation center. And you know, Tibetan bowls have been used for thousands of years in spiritual traditions to help you connect to your soul because what Tibetan bowls is part of sound healing. Sound healing means any type of sound like music or any type of instruments because those instruments and music and sound help you raise your vibrational energy to help you align with your soul. And so that's what I use Tibetan bowls for is to really help me come home to my soul. So I like to use seven Tibetan bowls in my meditation representing the seven chakras. You know, chakras are your energy centers where all your chi energy flows to harmonize and balance your body, your mind, and soul. So when I strike these Tibetan bowls, it starts to help me to connect to my spirit, to my soul, the truth of who we are. We're really spirits in this body. And by doing that, what's happening is, is that you're starting to align you're starting to raise your vibrational energy to that of your soul. So if your soul's vibrational energy is here, what's happening is the sound of the Tibetan bowls, any type of sound healing for that matter, is helping you to raise it, raise it, raise it, because the ideal situation is to align and match that vibrational energy to your soul like this, because this is pure, positive energy. Your soul is pure positive energy. So as I listening and raising my vibrational energy through sound healing, it's helping me to match it. And you know, in my videos, I always talk about raising our vibrational energy. Like in the money video, I talk about money's abundance, prosperity, that vibrational energy is high. And so in order for you to receive money, you have to raise your vibrational energy to match the abundance vibrational energy. So that's what sound healing is all about. And so these Tibetan bowls in my meditation helps me really to start to connect to my soul and raise my vibrational energy so it can all be aligned. And because I'm not a sound healing expert, I use Tibetan bowls in my own personal practice. I invited a sound healing expert, Linda Arnold, to talk about why Tibetan bowls are so effective to help us raise our vibrational energy. Tibetan bowls are a wonderful tool to use in sound healing uh, because they're, they're made from seven, a special seven metal alloy. Um, they're handmade uh, in Nepal and in India, and uh, it's an ancient practice, uh, an ancient instrument used in ceremonies and also for healing throughout uh, the centuries. So when the bowl's, uh, Tibetan bowl is struck, it produces a sine wave and uh, lots of harmonics and overtones that help to vibrate our bodies and our subtle bodies and bring us a lot of peace, relaxation, de-stress and also um, move energy, stuck energy in our bodies. So during my meditation practice, I like to ring the bowl first to help me focus in the present moment, the power of now, because it is only in the present moment that allows us to raise our vibrational energy and align with our souls. So it's being focused in the present moment. And so I start by ringing the Tibetan bowls. So then I focus on my breath for a couple of minutes to help me really focus in the present moment. Our power is in the moment of now. It's in the journey of now. It's not in the past. It's not in the future. It's in the now. And so we focus on our breath to focus on the now. And I might do that for like a minute or two after I do that, I'll ring the bowl again to start my first chant or mantra.
So these mantras that I'm gonna be doing now are all in English, but I also do some Hindu and Buddhist mantras as well. So the first one that I might do, and you know, they vary depending on what I feel like. So this is not set in stone. It's what helps you to raise your vibrational energy. So the first one could be something like, as I align myself with my soul, I am pure positive energy, so all good things come to me. As I align with my soul, I am pure positive energy, so all good things come to me. As I align with my soul, I am pure positive energy, so all good things come to me. And I might do that like a dozen times, you know, it really is what you feel in the moment. It could be a dozen times, it could be 10 times, whatever you feel like, you have to be in the flow. And so then, before I go on to my second mantra, I'll ring the Tibetan bowls again. And then another mantra could be something like, I am pure positive energy, so I live in the truth of who I am. I am pure positive energy, so I live in the truth of who I am. I am pure positive energy, so I live in the truth of who I am. And I might do that another dozen times. And then I'll ring my bowl again. And then I might do my third mantra with something like, I am pure positive energy, so all of my cells and my body are healthy and alive. I am pure positive energy, so all of my cells and my body are healthy and alive. And this mantra is great, especially if you're going through health issues. I am pure positive energy, so all of the cells in my body are healthy and alive. And I guess happy is healthy and alive. <laughs> uh, he also helps me align with my soul. So to help you understand better what sound healing session is like, I want to share with you Linda Arnold's typical session with a private client using Tibetan bowls. So we have the seven, uh, seven bowls surrounding yes. the body. They represent the seven chakras. Right. And what we want to do is open up the energetic, the vibration, vibrational force of the body with um, the surround sound, what we call uh, Tibetan bowl bath. A, a quick demonstration of what a session is like, um, you'll see that I'll be playing them uh, in different configurations. Um, I, I often play them from the head to the foot to move energy from, crown, from the crown to the root chakra, yes. also uh, from left to right. And so there uh, are different protocols that are uh, designed to move energy in certain ways. The first thing that I do is I start a session um, with the tingsha. Tingsha is a, a symbol, a hand symbol, and we can either play them like this, nice high-pitched, wonderful sound, or playing them like this. Okay. All right. So you're picking a high-pitched sound first. Why just to Just to start the session, right. to bring in the session. There's a couple reasons for it. Okay. Uh, it, it, it is an indicator of the beginning of the session, but it's also used to diagnose a client's energy field. Okay. So, for example, real quick, I will do a quick diagnosis. And what I might be listening for are any fluctuations in the sound, little vibrations right. or flutters that might happen along the body. Right. I'll do that a couple times. So what are we going to do with the bowls now? Okay. Well, first I'd like to just show you how, I, how to play them. Yeah. Okay, there's a couple different ways to play them. Um, so I'm going to pick this, this guy up right here. And uh, you hold it in your hand. And I have rings on, so I want to make sure that I don't have the rings touching the bowl, otherwise you'll hear the rattling sound. And then I have a striker, and what I'm going to do is hit it towards the edge in an upwards motion, like this. Okay. 
Now it'll ring out for quite a long time. It, that's what the, that's the beauty of these bowls. Um, so that's generally how I play them in uh, the session. Um, the other way I play them is um, with this rubbing tool. Uh, I, I can strike the bowl with this, like this, lightly. Okay. When I do that, I get more of the higher harmonics. And, and so it's, it's a really lovely thing, especially when I do group sound baths. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just hit them, I'll strike them to get the low tones, and then lightly hit them with this to get some of the higher tones. Okay. And then the last way, uh, that they can be played for a client or in a sound bath situation um, is by rubbing them t to get a sustained tone. So that goes like this. the bowls on the client? Absolutely. You do? Mm -hmm. okay. well, yeah. Where would be a place you would typically place it? Um, I, most of the time, I'll place it on uh, the belly area, the abdomen. So uh, if I take the bowl for that area, um, well, I'll just use this one for, for right now. I'll lightly put my hand here during a session because yeah. a client might be very, uh, very in a deep meditative state. Yeah. So if I get a sense that putting a bowl is going to be appropriate for that client, yeah. I'll go ahead and put the bowl here. I'll ask if it's okay. You good? And then I'll go ahead and strike that. Cool. So it's very important just to wait and listen. Notice the client's breathing. You know, are they uh, comfortable? You notice a change in the breathing when it's on? Because because the vibrations are now going straight into the body, affecting the cells. Um, and, and so it's very, a very powerful, powerful thing. And once that is done, then I'll just take off the bowl and then continue on with the session. I also do, uh, so if a client lays on their stomach, I can do a protocol where there's two bowls on the back and then do um, a back therapy. So this has really been one of my favorite shows to do because I felt so peaceful, calm, and serene during the shooting of the show. Because you know, this topic of connecting to our soul is really, really important for me because I believe that's where our true power is. So these Tibetan bowls have really helped me to connect with my soul. So if you don't have one in your home, get it. They're really cheap, they're reasonable. You could get it online or at your local spiritual store, get one. And for those of you who have been using it, using Tibetan bowls in your own personal meditation practice, please share your story, your experience with me about how effective they've been in your life. Leave a comment below. And if you like this channel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna support me and Yin and Yang Living because I use so much of my own time, energy, and resources to create these videos for you, the best way to do it is to buy a Yin and Yang Living t-shirt. This one says Om, the Hindu word Om. There's others like love, hope, joy, follow your heart. And you can get it on Etsy at the link below. And soon, the t-shirts will be coming to my website at yinyangliving.com. And if you want to visit all of my holistic and spiritual living tips, just go to my website at yinyangliving.com. Komasunida.